Hello, I'm Jennifer Sherlock. It's time for PA Harness Week. We've got a fast-paced, action-packed show for you from Harris Chester. Here are the headlines. Yannick Gingra had a big day on Sunday. We'll tell you all about it. Yannick is one of the nicest drivers here at Chester, and you'll meet him. A big payday at Chester this week. We've got a big upset to start off your morning. And Brian Sears hit the winner's circle in not one, but two big feature races. I love the way he drives. Those stories and much more on racing's fastest pace half hour, PA Harness Week. Oh, they go. Explosive matter hits the Colonial easily. Underway. Thanks for stopping by. You've landed on PA Harness Week, where we cover it all from stem to stern, main to tail, from Maine to Florida, and even beyond. We are Harness Racing's fastest paced half hour. But who are we to judge the pace proficiency of others? <laughs> who are we? Really? Seriously. Yeah, really. Who are we? Who are you? I'm Steve Ross, <laughs> and as usual, my broadcast partner to my right is Heather Moffitt. Hello, darling. Hey. What's going on? Well, I'm so glad everybody's here today, but you know, tomorrow, a big day at Harris Chester. My great, 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 great grandmother's race is on. Seriously, you're related to Betsy Ross? Of course. Oh, yes, yeah, Steve Ross. Okay, I got it. <laughs> anyway, a great mayor's in action here tomorrow. Don't miss out. Absolutely. Good stuff. Now, this is going to be a terrific half hour of action. So if you are into harness, we cover it all. And the next 30 minutes are going to be great. So strap on your seatbelt and get ready because the action is ready to go. And we'll start it off with Heather doing the 12th right here at Harris Chester on Sunday. It was the feature. That's right. $32,000 open pacers here. We've got Vintage Master. Now he's the favorite with Tim Tietrick. Also, Western Shore, he won the open his past two starts, but he was scratched the last time out. And then Dial or No Dial. Just won the winners over, and he has to take that little step up in class. It's fourth and floating to the outside, five and a half lengths from the front. Real celebration will draft with him because she can. The mare is saving ground toward the rear of the field. She has eight lengths to come with a half mile to go. And four to five favorite Vintage Master is last through a 54 and three fifth seconds half mile. But now Vintage Master has been angled off the pylons, and he's underway, but he still has eight lengths to make up on Western Shore, who leads them up the backstretch. It's Western Shore, a length in front. Pilgrim's Toner is pressing the pace now. Dial or no dial is locked in the box. Mega Lightning is second over, but gapped on cover. He's three off the lead. Real Celebration is gapped at the pylons. Vintage Master now has four and a half to come, and he'll be forced three wide around an off-stride Mega Lightning because she can. Is back up at a sixth as Mega Lightning has dropped out the back. Three quarters and 121 and three. The field turns for home, and Western Shore is trying to take them all the way. He leads by a length. Dial or no dial is giving chase up the inside. Two lengths back. Real Celebration coming down to the line. Western Shore or Dial or No Dial. Ahoy, matey. Western Shore does not need a lighthouse to get to the finish line. He ends up winning this one in 149 and 1 with Brian Sears in the bike and at odds of 11 to 1. Very nice. Yep. Just a nose back with a good trip with one of my favorite horses, Dial or No Dial. And then Vintage Master ended up rounding out the trifecta. You know what's nuts about that race? Western Shore was assigned the seven hole. So he was assigned the outside post, and then he wins a pace like 25 bucks, which is crazy. Yeah, yeah. But it's good to hit one like that. That's right. In the very next race at Harris Chester on Sunday was a condition pace for winners over $25,000 in the last five. Clear vision with Dave Miller was the three to two chalk from the rail. Annie's Western card, a real hard knocker with Ron Pierce, was two to one. And Alexia Matusi was the public's third choice. Here's James with that call. The half 54 and four, and Clear Vision has two lengths to work with from Alexi Matosi in second. McSadies has stalled in the breeze, but is just ahead out of second. Annie's Western card is wide of arduous. These two, three and a half from the front. Digital Z Tam still with six lengths to make up. 
three quarters and 122 flat, a 55 second middle half, and Clear Vision starts to come back to the field. He leads still by a length and a half. Alexi Matosi has had a perfect pocket ride, but Sadie's has stalled in the breeze. Annie's Western Cards revved up three wide from Ron Pierce, and Clear Vision still the one to catch at the 150. Clear Vision's under pressure now. Annie's Western Card trying to wear him down, and Alexi Matosi, one final lunge up the inside, photo finish. Well, Clear Vision cut the mile, but faded in the lane as Alexi Matusi, a horse I would have bet because it sounds like my daughter's name, Alexis. And of course, names work a lot of times, right? <laughs> they do. Alexi Matusi got up to beat the fast closing Annie's Western card by a head in 150 and two. And when we come back, we'll have more from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and a lot of good stuff, including our blast from the past. So don't go away. The record had been set by a fleet pacer named Steady Star. Some say history has a way of repeating itself. Be on hand Sunday, July 4th to witness for yourself when Harris Chester presents the $100,000 Betsy Ross, a free-for-all event for the best pacing mares in the country. Racing history was made in last year's edition when Southwind Tempo blazed to a new world record of 148-3 for aged mares. The 2010 edition promises to be another memorable race, maybe a new chapter of history for the record books. The $100,000 Betsy Ross, Sunday, July 4th at Harris Chester Casino and Racetrack, world-class harness racing on the Delaware River waterfront. First post time, 12.45. And Southwind Tempo defends her crown in the Betsy Ross. It's your big night out, and you deserve a little more. That's why you'll love the Downs Off-Track Wagering. It's more than a sports bar, it's extra fun, because you can watch, wager, and win on the hottest horse racing action from Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs and across the country. Downs Off-Track Wagering, Allentown, Carbondale, East Stroudsburg, Hazleton. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER. Hanover Shoe Farms welcomes our 2010 foals. Only one thing is missing their names. What's my name? Please, please, please tell me my name. I don't know my name. What's my name? Tell me already. Come on. Mama, Come on. what's my name? my name? Tell me, please, please, what's my name? What's my name? Tell me, tell me, what's my name? We need your help. Visit our website at www.hanoverpa.com and you can help us name these fine youngsters. What's my name? What's my name? Welcome, good old Sunday. No love when you don't come. 